Hey, I'm Ronnie Duncan. It's time for Ronnie's Roundup. And yes, we had Yum and we had the Motor City Crews. But before we start, we know Atlanta is coming to town to take on the Lions this coming Sunday. And it's another edition of Give Me That Score. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Lions this weekend, we had a tight one. I know we had the city on the edge this weekend and they couldn't pull it out. But I got the Lions beating Atlanta this week by 32 to 28. It's going to be another close game. Hey, Ronnie, this is what the score is going to be. I think the Atlanta Falcons are going to win 27 to 14 against the Lions. Hey, Ronnie, here's what's going to happen, man. Atlanta's going to come in all hyped up. But hey, the Lions are going to take it 34 17. You heard it here first, Coach Joe. Lions fan till the day I die. First game in the bag. We cracked their head. Super Bowl ready, baby. We ready. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I love that hype. Crack that head. That's what it's all about. I think the Lions, and by the way, Earl Curriton, thanks for joining us. Now, when you speak of a super fan, it could be for the Lions, it could be for Michigan State, but this week's super fan is all about those Michigan Wolverines. They're up there in the ranks with the best of them. Being a Michigan fan is unlike anything. Just going to the big house, seeing the amount of people there, the amount of people who support this program. 27-year-old Jake Wallach, a graduate student at Michigan, loves his Wolverines. He calls himself a super fan as he walked around Nemo Sports Bar in downtown Detroit. The, the roster um, is, is better prepared to win a national championship under Harbaugh this year than any other year. From a distance, this young man might have a point. But remember, we're talking eighth in Michigan. And that means Jim Harbaugh being back this Saturday. I think... Without him for the past three weeks, um, it's definitely played an effect on some of our play. So give me a score of the game. Man, tomorrow we're going Michigan 41, Rutgers 14. It's going to be a blowout. Uh, I'm going to remember that score. By the way, my cousin Kamar Missouri plays for Rutgers. I'm going against the Wolverines. I smell an upset. One guy doesn't smell an upset, but he smells a lot of good basketball. He's Ben Carloni, general manager of the Motor City Cruise. Man, you got a big game coming up November 14th, but more importantly, you got a Fan Fest coming up next Saturday. Talk to me about it. Yeah, Fan Fest is great. Obviously, you know, we want to be model citizens and do things beyond just the basketball. And so, you know, I think with our platform, anything we can do to do better by the community and, uh, and really just pay it forward, we're all about that. One step from the NBA, but you got a brand new head coach this year. Got some good bloodlines. Nate McMillan's son, Jamel McMillan. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he was born to do this, to be a, to, to be a head coach. And uh, Jamel's great. He has a great presence with the players, with the staff, and he's fitting right in. So we're really excited to have good him. Good enough, man. We're going to be doing a feature on him. He's going to let me stick around and hang out with him. Maybe I can get some of that GM money. I'm Ronnie Duncan. That's a look at your sports. Live from Detroit, I'm talking yum. Three, two, one. I'm done. I thought his smile would fade a little bit at sharing that money with Ronnie. Nope, looking good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ronnie. We'll see you All later. Right, thanks.